Hi, I'm Elizabeth Townsend Gard um, from Just Want a Quilt, a research podcast coming out of Tulane University Law School. Today we have a video, a video, um, and we're doing a sew along, a sew along where Gigi Bai will be leading us through Jen Kingwell's The Gypsy Wife Quilt, which is awesome. Um, so these are videos that Gigi will produce um, and help us understand how to do it. And Corey Dutton, um, a law student, is going to learn to quilt. So um, it's for beginners, advanced people, even law students. Um, and it will be great. So uh, I hope this helps. So where do you find the pattern? Um, Jen Kinkwell's pattern can be found at Amazon. It's again called the Gypsy Wife Quilt. It's super popular. You can also get it at Uptown Needle and Craftworks here in New Orleans. Just um, look them up online and call them or at any quilt shop. So get the pattern and join us. So today we are going to be working on a square and a square the, um, from section one. This is one of our first blocks we're going to be doing. And so I'm going to do the square and a square first, and then we'll talk about how to do it bordered. Okay? Okay. So we have... Um, a three and a half inch square and two inch squares. And what we're going to do is um, put right sides together and you'll put one in each corner, but not all at the same time. We're gonna do one at a time. You put one in the corner and we're going to draw a line from one angle to another angle across the fabric. And that's our sew line. That is where we sew. We sew, we want our thread to be right on that line right there. That's why we draw a line. Then you can draw it with a pencil. You can draw it with, I have a little erasable marker. Um, you can use, some people just fold it, you know, and make a crease and follow that crease. It's up to you. I like to draw a line because it just makes it easier for me to be able to see what I'm doing. So I'm going to put this down. Put my... Um, I'm trying to think, is there a way to make it so you can see me do it? But I'll hold it up in just a second and show you. So I drew, I drew my line. And I have my first little square on there. And my line goes right there. So, hi, Dad. Is that Dad in the background? <laughs> <laughs> hi. <laughs> so, um... I will sew right on that line. Okay. Now, I know before you left to go home, I kept talking about the quarter inch, the quarter inch, you need a quarter inch. And these very first blocks, we don't even use the quarter inch when we're doing square and a square because you actually sew right on the line. Yeah, that's why I asked uh, the question of, do I sew on the line? <laughs> that's a really good question. Okay, I'm gonna sew it very quickly and I'll have to figure out a way to show y'all, um, move the camera so you can see me. Um, actually doing the sewing if you need to. So I just put my needle down right on that line. I'm gonna sew right across. Yep. And there it is. And I've sewn straight across my drawn line. Okay. And then I'm going to cut about a fourth of an inch. I do it a little less than a fourth of an inch. You can measure it if you'd like. You wanna cut away the extra tri triangles back here. So, you know, if you have a little ruler, you can measure it and draw another line to cut it. But it's such a small square, I usually just take my scissors and cut away, just like that. And so then when I flip this up, I will have my first corner and my square and a square. And now I'll go to the opposite corner and put right sides together. Sometimes you can say pretty sides of pretty colors. You want them to be together. And when making the square and square, I really like to try and use contrast so it shows up really well. So you see how dark this is and how light this is? I might do a dark center and light on the outside. I just think it helps show up more the actual design of the block. So then this one will go like that, and we'll do it in all four corners. Square. Can you see it? Yeah. So that's a square okay. and square. Square and a square. And then on the back, I've cut away the extra fabric, and so it makes it not lie nice and flat. And it looks almost like a little diamond inside of there. So we'll continue on with these and get those in all four corners, and they'll end up looking just like this one. Now, the bordered one is going to look like this. It's your square and a square, just like we just made. It's this, but we add 
a small piece here and a small piece here. Mm -hmm. And that's when we have to use our first quarter inch seam. So we sew along, we put it right sides together and we sew along and see that's a nice little quarter inch right there. Oh, okay. And then you flip it up then you go the other side, you lay that one, I think it's one and a half by three and a half and you sew that one on and then your longer strips go on either side. And there you have a bordered square and a square. Okay, you wanna pause it again? We're still learning how to do this. Okay, so we do the small strips first and then you are able to fit the long one on. And it just, you lay it down, you follow your quarter inch foot. So here's a quarter inch foot that I'm using here. And so from my edge of my fabric will be, well, it's gonna be like that, but it, that's exactly a quarter of an inch from the inside where your needle is to this outside part right here. And so I can just follow like that. So the outside part instead of the, uh, at least the beginning outside part and not the other the outside part? Not this piece, but okay. this one. That's right. it. But if you're ever in doubt, because like I, I think I've said before, each machine is a little bit different. Take your ruler and measure it and see exactly where your needle will be okay. inside there. Okay. And you can adjust it if you need to, but it should be a quarter of an inch. Okay. Right. And so that's, you just sew like that. And then when you're done, there's nothing to trim away because you've done just a quarter of an inch. So there's no trimming like on the square and a square. And you just fold it over and press it. And those are your first two blocks. Seems easy. And you're on your way to making 7,000 blocks for this <laughs> quilt. Now, it looks like Elizabeth is having a great time on her little trip yeah. and meeting all kind of cool, great people. I saw there was a video this morning. Um, someone had made the Gypsy Wife quilt, and she did a little tutorial on picking your fabric. So some people might still be in the picking fabric stage. So watch that video. And then... Um, Judy said that she talked about a, a paper bag trick. Like maybe you put your fabrics in a paper bag and just pick them out randomly, which would work great with the Gypsy Wife quilt. So I'm gonna research that a little bit more and I'll report back what I find out about the paper bag trick. Cause I don't know that idea. So, no, okay. All right, so you're good to go. Oh, look, <laughs> do you love your fabric? Yes, I do. Okay, that's good. It's nice to love your fabric. If you're ever sewing with something you really don't care for, your heart's not in it. And there's not much fabric I don't love, but sometimes you do find one that you just are like, uh. Yeah. yeah. Set it aside, donate to somebody else, because sometimes what you don't like, another person loves. So, you know. Do you think you've got enough fabric or are you still shopping? You can never have enough fabric. No, that's right. Good girl. She's already learned the first part of the rule. That's because I've, I've been around so many quilting people and they're like, you can never have enough fabric. You need, to, you need to have a stash. That's right. You have to have a stash. That's good. That's good. Okay. Well, I guess tomorrow we'll meet back again and we'll look um, at the other blocks in this little section. Yep. Have you cut the other blocks too or just these? I've cut all of them. They're all in their little bags. You have, oh, good girl. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Keeping them in the bag is a great way to keep it all straight. Do we yeah. have a visitor? Oh, I thought my, I thought my granddaughter was coming in. <laughs> we have lots of visitors here. You never know who might pop in. <laughs> okay, well then we'll just chit chat tomorrow. Okay. Okay, no more questions. Well, call me if you have another question or text me or put it and then we'll get it out there for everybody to know the answer. If I know it, if I don't, I'll find somebody who does. We'll Google. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Talk to you later. All right, bye. 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 This is Elizabeth Townsend Guard from Just Want a Quilt. You've been listening to Gigi Bai take us through an aspect of the Gypsy Wife quilt by Jen Kingwell. Make sure you get the pattern. You can get the pattern at Amazon or Uptown Needle and Craft Works here in New Orleans or at your local quilt shop. Um, you need the pattern to be able to understand what's going on. And then um, Gigi helps us through it. So join us. Come play with us. Come to our Facebook group, Just Want a Quilt. Uh, go to our website and be part of our newsletter where we'll help you through the Gypsy Wife Quilt. Um, that's JustWantAQuilt.com, spelled W-A-N-N-A, Just Want a Quilt. Um, and of course, listen to our podcast. It's available on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, and if you can't a chance to like it on those, it would be super awesome. <laughs>